you have to understand the fact that the museum has a pair, like those are sacred for a sprinter. Your spikes, we don't wear a lot of armor, right? We're not like, um, you know, maybe a hockey player who has a helmet and all the gear and the, and, the, and the skates. Like that's really all we have. We have our kit and our bib number for sure, but there's a relationship that you have with your spikes. You don't switch out your spikes all willy nilly the way that you might a t-shirt. Your bib changes for every competition. So it is really sacred property. Every athlete, sprinter, talk specific sprinter, does have a different relationship or something that they do with their spike. For me, I had won so many races in that spike. I'd won multiple NCAA uh, races in that spike, multiple conference titles in that spike, records in that spike. And what happened is Nike stopped developing that specific spike before the Paris World Championships. And they want you to wear their new edition. But here's pretty to Felicia and their star collegiate athlete, because the University of Illinois is sponsored by Nike, so they want all their star athletes in, in their latest shoes. And it became a little bit political, not in a bad way, but they're like, oh, pretty Felician loves those spikes. She's a star, uh, star track star, but we have new spikes and we actually want to show those off to, you know, all the other schools and all the other athletes. So maybe they'll go out and buy them. You know, kids' parents will go out and buy them. But I love, and they would call them the Bumblebee Spike. They were affectionately known on my behalf at school, in my school, as the Bumblebee Spikes. At least that's what my coach would call them because they're black and yellow. And I remember they tried to bring me other spikes leading into now transition into a new, you, you work spikes in as you go race to race, maybe in practice, then a lesser race, smaller race, until they become your, your spike. If you don't like that spike, you, you choose another model or different color or whatever. But I had been racing those basically from the beginning of my career. So now 2001-ish, 2000 to now 03, which is a long time to be in one particular kind of spike. And I remember um, they, they ran out, there's no more. They weren't gonna give us any more. And so my, my university, like the equipment managers, were now sourcing to get me extra backup pairs wherever they could across the country of that bumblebee spike. That's how much I love them. And it came to a point where we ran out of, the, there's no more, you can't source any more. These are now beat up. I had to find a new pair and that happened after pairs. But you know, these spikes, I would baby them. You take the, if you notice they're sharp pins, you take the pins out. And it's almost like you're, you're holding a, <laughs> It's horrible, but you're like holding a child and you're delicate with your spikes and you, you know, the way you bend them and the laces that you put and how you do it. And like, it would be a moment, this ritual of when you're changing your spikes, when you're putting the laces in and the, 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 the model might be the same, but the, the one that you wear in training is different than the one that you wear in the, in the warm up arena. And that one you wear in the warm up arena is the one you're wearing on race day in the actual race. So you have multiple versions of that same spike. And if your spike is missing, you want to make sure it's not missing. Why right? you always have that because can you run naked? You probably don't want to, but you can run naked if they let you. But can you run without your spikes in the wind? Heck no, you can't. So you make sure you keep that thing really close. And so it's interesting. And my coach is probably going to remember this. I remember him asking me specifically after the Paris race. He wanted the, and I, I wish I remembered, he wanted the Paris spikes, the one that actually crossed the line in and won golden and he emailed me. And it was, a, it was the right ask. And I actually regret this, but I said, no. I said, no, I should have given them to him or at least one and one or told him it was it and it wasn't. <laughs> but he wanted those spikes and he deserved the spikes. And, and this is like 22 year old me was like, you know, I keep everything, right? And so they are sacred to me too. I was like, no, I want to keep them. And I said, no. Uh, and I, and, I think I'm keep repeating myself. I wish I'd said yes. It, would, it, it was the right thing. He should have had them because I've lost track of which ones they were because I have all of them. Well, you have a pair. But I didn't because they meant so much to me, I felt. And I keep everything. And I'm like, I want those particular ones. But like decades later, I don't remember which ones they are. So there's that. <laughs>